All right, let's get started here. First, you want to go ahead and put just a little bit of olive oil in a pan, preheated to about a medium. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is stick about a quarter cup of diced onion in there. What we want to do is just get this sweated. Shouldn't take longer than maybe a minute, minute and a half, maybe even two minutes, really just depending on the heat of your pan. We're just going to sweat the onion before we go ahead and add our one pound of ground beef. And we're going to get that mixed around and chop it up as finely as you can. But get that all mixed together with the onion there. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of grated carrot. Once the meat's pretty much almost cooked there, it doesn't have to be all the way cooked, but we're going to add that carrot to add a little sweetness and cut the acidity in this. And then we're going to remove the meat and just leave the oil in the pan. Use a slotted spoon or something so the oil stays in the pan. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of masa. We're just going to create a poor man's roux. It doesn't have to be anything special. The uh, masa just needs to soak up the oil, that's it. It doesn't have to be smooth or anything. It will break down anyway, so it's not a big deal. So we've got our poor man's roux there. And then we're going to add one uh, 14.5 ounce can of, can of beef stock. And we're just going to get that all mixed together there. And once we get that all mixed together, the roux will start breaking down and uh, the thickening agent will start to work a little bit. You'll just see little pieces of hamburger now in there. Uh, instead or ground beef instead of uh, the roux mixture so the next you want to go ahead and re-add your ground beef mixture that you cooked earlier and go ahead and get that mixed in there and then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of dry onion flakes and then of course a three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder a dash of cayenne pepper one teaspoon of paprika. Sorry for the fog. My camera got fogged up. Normally don't make that mistake, but it is what it is. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Four tablespoons of chili powder. This is going to give us that nice red beauty that the, the chili has uh, at Tommy's. And it's also going to give it that nice chili flavor as well, obviously. One tablespoon of white vinegar. And then we're going to go ahead and once it gets to about this point, nice and thick, we're going to put it in the fridge about four hours, let those flavors melt together. And then when it comes out, this is what it looks like. It's a nice paste there. Look at that. All the flavors have come together nicely. It looks really good. But once you start cooking it, it is going to thin back out again. But now we're pretty much ready to serve, ready to get it nice and ready for our little burgers here. But let's cook our burgers first. So we'll put our buns down quickly on a hot pan. We're going to go ahead and afterwards put our burger on that pan. Salt it up however we like. Add some pepper as well. Get it nicely cooked. Once one side's done, we'll go ahead and get that thing flipped. And we'll add some American cheese. Nothing special, no deli American cheese. Just use crab slices, those are fine. We're, we're making, in essence, like, you know, a small hole in the wall burger place type chili burger. So add your uh, cheese. And once you've got that added and you've cooked the burger, next add mustard to the bottom of your uh, bun there one of your buns add your burger on top of it once you've got that done the next thing you want to go ahead and do is just add your pickles and add a beef steak tomato cover the whole burger beef steak's nice for that and then add your chili once you add your chili there get it on there nice and thick it's a very messy burger but awesome if you've ever been to Tommy's it's always messy add some onion on top of that once that's done go ahead and put your bun on it cover it up and let's take a look at the final product here Dirty, ugly, but amazingly delicious there. This is my version of a Tommy burger. A burger I grew up with, grew up with uh, in LA as a kid. And uh, it's pretty darn good. So give it a shot, take a look, and uh, comment, or, uh, comment down below on what your favorite chili burger is or if you've ever been to Tommy's before. And before we go, thank you so much for watching. And have a good day, bye-bye.